Hey friends, it's Dr. Nick here. If you have ever wanted a contact form in your website, uh, maybe or an internal admin form, or just some structured way to kick off a process flow, make sure you're collecting the right data, then you, you've got hundreds of options. Um, anything good will of course cost you money, um, but they are wonderful. Uh, anywhere from dedicated form builders to uh, document systems, uh, to CRMs, they'll all have some uh, way of collecting that form. Um, but they all have some limits. And what if it could be free? What if you could have a free form, collect as many inputs as you like, start as many flows as you like, connect it to your uh, make.com and uh, to your CRM, to all the flows that you want to have in your business? Could it be free? Let's find out. Now, if we've not met before, I'm Dr. Nick, and I've uh, been building and sharing for almost two decades. It's nice to meet you for the first time. This is a contact form down below that uh, I wish to, uh, to sort of show you. This, this form here is connected in the flow that we, we're going to look and we're going to rebuild this uh, together. I've got a page here on the Mocker website that uh, we're going to edit. Uh, and it's, uh, this, our blog, is uh, our site is built on Ghost, which is a pretty wonderful uh, editing or way to, to, to write blogs. I've always enjoyed it since it first came out whether you web Webflow, any of the other uh, uh, website builders, uh, what we're gonna talk about today should uh, work. Um, so I have high confidence. Now, where is this contact form going to go? Um, as I said, we're gonna go through from uh, the form through to make.com. And then uh, in this case, the CRM we're gonna use is ClickUp. If you've already got a CRM, that's gonna be perfect. You'll be able to integrate with that. Um, now, the big question in your mind, which I don't want to sort of dance around too much longer, is if we're not going to use a fancy form builder, where do we get a fancy form? Glad you asked. Um, I, I empathize with you on that. Now, if you've got a team, of course, that, that can design and build, or you can go to uh, Beams, then use them. Uh, if you've got uh, some people on Fiverr or Upwork and you want to work with them, then they'll, they'll flesh out a form for you. Forms are uh, a well-known problem to solve. Making them look great is uh, in the wheelhouse of every uh, web designer. If you're not yet uh, working with those people, then I have something we'll, we'll let's play with together, which is let's see if we can get, um, uh, let's see if we can get ChatGPT to, uh, um, to, uh, to work with us together, build us a form. Oh, this is the web version. I actually normally like to use the, uh, the little uh, app, but here we are. I'd like a nice, uh, nice compact form. I'll better for you with uh, to collect. Full name, bird name, and email. Would I also have a text area? Um, or what would I? You like discuss. Let's see what we get. All right, so it's going to give us an entire page, including. So if uh, if HTML is new to you, this is uh, sort of the magical part. That's is all part of what makes a web page look fantastic. And we don't need all of it because I just uh, you know, as you can see, I've already got a web page. I just need the form part. And if you're not a technical person. Uh, just follow along and we can make this work. What we're looking for is the portion of this, which is uh, called, it's the form tag. Everything inside of this is, is what we want. So we're gonna take this form tag um, and uh, it, it, it's mentioning a thing called bootstrap. We'll, we'll come back to that in a second. I'll just skip that part for a moment. Let's just do the, the, the very basics. You copy and paste this. And we're going to go across into wherever it is you're going to uh, edit your page. There will be a way to insert HTML uh, in Ghost. It's here. And all we're going to do is paste this chunk in and find out what happens. Uh, I've pasted it in. I've exited it. You can sort of see it looks like something. Uh, press update. Go to this tutorial page. And we have a form. It is in no way aesthetically pleasing, but it is a form. And you can see that we're moving forward. We've got our form. Uh, we have two uh, significant jobs that we want to tackle. Next, of course, one is to make it not ugly. 
and then we want to attach it to make uh, to then to our CRM. Um, now some of you who are advanced uh, might be um, concerned with one missing aspect of, of putting a form on the internet um, and what bad things can happen. Discuss that later. Um, possibly in a larger extent, we'll do it in a second video about what to do with forms on the internet um, and the terrible people that will automatically try to use your form. But today we're going to make the form. I'm going to be happy about that. So we have a form. Now you can see that uh, it's suggested we include this, this thing called Bootstrap. I, I, for the sake of the, the uh, project, for the sake of this, we'll, we'll do what it says and we'll see what happens. Paste those in as well. And nothing substantial has happened. And I'm not actually going to try and figure out why that didn't work. That is, oh, it says there's some style sheets. I lied. I'm going to try and figure out. Update. There we go. Okay, so if we include everything that ChatGPT has given us, it starts to, to look like something. Um, uh, and and you might think that's that's perfectly fine, but let's uh, let's go back. I'd like to use vanilla CSS, please. Not Bootstrap. Um, and uh, I tell you what, actually. Uh, one thing you should always try with doing it with AI is not just ask it once, but ask it a couple of times. It'll just start from another place and come up with something better. In this case, we'll continue the conversation and we'll say, instead of uh, CSS, instead of Bootstrap, can I have vanilla CSS? Um, let's see what happens. Okie dokie. This is looking good. I, I say it's looking good in that it's producing style sheets that we can use. Whether they're pretty or not is, uh, now I don't know whether or not it has changed. Or is it still, so full group, full name, full group, full name. It looks like the C, it looks like the DOM is the same. Uh, it has now put this somewhere. I'm gonna put that. If get rid of all this script and that goes at the end. Next thing it wanted was this style sheet. Firstly, we'll just copy it all in and then we'll have a disagreement about. I was going to get rid of the body one. The body one, uh, my theme has a description of what it wants for the body, so we'll just remove that for now. So we've kept everything else except things that modified. Exit, press update. And we now have, uh, this is what the second time it tried to give us something, something completely different. But you know what, it's, it's not a bad looking form. Um, at this point, uh, we could ask it, a, you know, we could ask chat to be a couple of things. We could say, um, I'd like to remove the border and uh, line don't center form, please. Uh, top tip, always say please. You just never know when AI is going to take over. And uh, I'm, I'm guessing when AI takes over, um, it will be a stickler for those who fight. Um, so now we're just going to copy and paste everything again without even knowing what changed. Downside of We'll go and remove everything inside these style tags, just paste in the new ones. I am going to guess that nothing changed there. Update. Uh, I feel like we're going to iterate on this a few times. It's still got a border, but you know what? It's not a bad border. At this point, you can um, uh, play around. Now, another place you can play um, to, to design these is Claude. Claude, um, wasn't working when I started the video and still not working. So we're not going to use Claude. But if you use Claude and turn on their new um, experimental feature, which is about showing artifacts, it will actually, in one side, tell you that, yes, I'm doing the job. And in the other side, it'll actually show you the form. 
And so it's a lot easier to go back and forward uh, designing with Claude what your form will look like. Uh, I think uh, what Claude, uh, what the Anthropic people are doing is just fantastic. And this is uh, really something you should uh, have a look at. So turn on the feature preview for artifacts and have, have a lot of fun. But we now have a form that doesn't look half bad. And uh, I'd be proud to, uh, to collect that. So we now have, um, let's just make sure that uh, this works. I, it's very important if you're going to build a form. One of the reasons to have a form is so that people on their phones can easily fill it in with all their default details. So that worked just a treat. Um, my preferred name is Dr. Nick. And um, uh, my uh, new client onboarding flows might be what I want to submit. So we have a design of that form, but it doesn't go anywhere. And what, what, is, what makes the paid forms work with make.com and, and Zapier and things like that? And, and what is missing from our form to, uh, to get that to, to work? That's an excellent question. The big difference we've got now, firstly, we've done the, the, the fancy theme. The next thing we want is for the form to go into our, our, our flow. And it's this tag here is the tag we're going to modify next. What we need in this, this tag is it uh, to have a couple of things. We need it to say post, uh, we're going to post the form, and uh, we need it to go somewhere. Uh, so I've got that wrong. Method and action. And because I'm recording, I'm having a brain fart. So uh, I'd like this form to post to. Um, We'll find the URL in a second. It's going to make one up. Some URL. So again, it's regurgitated everything. Uh, we don't need all of that. What we need is this part here. This is what we need to copy. Is this? Uh, I've only been doing web things for uh, twenty-five years, and I'm still forgetting. Um, when the camera's on, things you can get are quite embarrassing. So we need these two tags, action and method. And, and this is the magic of, of the web, is that these two tags are what makes form submit the data. And so what we now need is to send this data to make, send it off to CRM, and then uh, finally, very finally, we're going to want to redirect to a happy place, a thank you page of some sort. And so we'll, we'll do the thank you page at the end. Um, we're moving along very nicely. So we've got our form, uh, we've got the inputs, and uh, they've all got fields, and we'll find out what all that's for in a second. The question becomes, what URL are we going to put here? Let's press update. We don't lose it. Let's get to make. How do we collect our form using make? Firstly, let's start a scenario. Of the hundreds of that, which is the one that's going to allow us to collect a form? The, uh, the answer to that is webhooks. Uh, we're going to use the concept of webhooks to receive form, process the form, and then send back a response to redirect to a happy place, a thank you page. Uh, we have two incoming webhooks, uh, and, uh, the mail hook and the webhook are what we need. Let's create a new one. Uh, YouTube tutorial form. That's it. And we get an address. We take this uh, address. Anything sent to this address will be coming into this scenario. Come over here, back to our edit our form. And we are almost done with the form, by the way. Once we paste the webhook URL into this uh, action slot, uh, we are pretty much done with our form. Paste that in, press update, and uh, we will refresh that in one second. Okay, back to this, the make scenario. We uh, give things nice names. Uh, post, receive, form, submission. Always good to get a handy reception, uh, a handy habit of, of naming things. Similarly, we'll name up here contact form. Um, tutorial contact form. 
Lovely. Now, how do we how do we um, test this? Uh, if you're new to Make, we have a couple of, of options. Um, one is we can click the big uh, play button. Click the play button, you'll see it go into the swirly swirly mode. Let's stop. The other option is there's a hotkey. Hotkey, we, I'm on a on Mac. Hotkey is uh, command and return. And that also goes in. And if you type uh, search for hotkeys, uh, make.com, you'll see that they have some, uh, some other hotkeys as well. Quite frankly, not as many as they should have. There are so many other things I'd like a hotkey for. But essentially, we are using the run once button. So I was running that. If you're on Windows, give that uh, control enter. So, all right. So we're in development mode. We're developing our scenario. Uh, eventually, when this is working and you want to leave it running forever, um, uh, then we will schedule it. We're not really scheduling anything. We're actually, it's going to be turning it on. But it's called scheduling. We'll do that shortly. So we're now in development mode and our webhook is ready to receive uh, its first response. We go back over to our form and we have to refresh the page to get the latest. Uh, we'll fill this in. Say Dr. Nick. Hey, and press submit. It submitted. It went to make.com. It said accepted. This is obviously not how we wish to finish. Eventually, we want it to redirect to a thank you page. But right now, uh, we're looking good. We go back to make, and we can see that we've received our uh, response, the form submission. And all the keys come from that form, uh, and they're values that are very easy to, to, to process. You can see uh, each of these values uh, matched to the form fields. Um, now, the names were given to us. Uh, ChatGPT came up with these. Um, if you know a little bit of HTML and you wish to change them, you can go and edit them. But I think uh, ChatGPT in this case has done an excellent job. Now we want to put these, so we want to do two things now. Put them in our CRM and uh, return to a thank you page. So uh, I said that we're going to use ClickUp. So we shall. What do we wish to do? Uh, it's in ClickUp, the language is we're going to create a task um, because we don't really care about contact per se. We care about processing the contact and doing something useful with them. And so this will be both a combination of human uh, actions and possibly some automation. And uh, so we will uh, start here. Workspace, Mokra. Let's see if we can find our space tutorial. And here is the one that I prepared for today. Contact us form. Very hard to get this wrong. The contact name. So we are now going to take the form results that are stored in the webhook module and put them into um, so the form and then put them into the uh, task inside the, the CRM. If you're using a different CRM, this will look different and at the same time, look exactly the same. So the task name, uh, for the task name, we'll just use the, uh, the person's full name and um, we'll scroll down. I had some other fields, uh, contact form email. Okay, uh, I haven't yet collected these other two, so we'll do that shortly. Rename this, add contact CRM. And we can actually run this uh, immediately, just to check that it's wired up. Run this module, in which case we'll manually put some fields in. Don't need your assistance, but thank you. It's just, it's run this scenario only, and we can see that it's succeeded. But the true test of success is to come over here and see that, yes, our value is now in this form. Lovely. Let's delete that. And let's solve. Um, I said that we wanted some extra forms, so let's um, some extra fields, so let's add those as well. We want our preferred name. Oops. Text, preferred name. Thank you. And I also want uh, discussion topic, which is. Sorry, I've got that wrong. Text, text area, longer text. 
we'll collect those. So these are the extra fields that we wish to collect from our form. So we're now ready to store them. Last thing we need to do is to wire them up. So come back to um, our ClickUp module. We do need to, oh, they've already come in. That's fantastic. Those up. I feel confident that that's, this will work. So let's uh, press Command Enter to put, um, put us into development mode one more time. Form. I've gone back to the page, press refresh. Tim, uh, why not? I have many good friends called Tim and I, I would love to be Tim on this occasion. Not calling me Tim. Press submit. It says accepted. Uh, let's have a look. So it accepted. There's our, our, uh, our fields. Um, it has created this new record in our CRM. We head on over. We can see we've got the, the name, the email, preferred name, and don't call me Tim. We can move these columns around. And this is fantastic. We are 90% of the way home. Um, as you learn more and more about Make and the things you can do, you can imagine now sending them a few minutes from now a thank you email that you'll uh, catching up and giving them, emailing them a, contact, a calendar form um, uh, and all those sorts of things that make them feel uh, appreciated and respected. So we, the last thing to do is just to have a, a thank you page. So back to Ghost, we need to prepare our thank you page. This is the contact page. I want to now create a tutorial. Thank you. Thank you for submitting contact form and watching the YouTube video. If you really would like to chat, awesome. Um, if not, really, no, that's a, it's a, what? Also, please like and subscribe. Let's not forget the YouTube uh, poem, Prosperity. Okay, so. We're going to publish this as a new page. We're going to publish this right now. And let's visit this page. So this is the URL for this page. And just to recap, here is the, 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 the form. When I submit the form, it's going to go to make. Sorry, I'll start, I'll start over here. Um, they're going to submit the form. You, you can submit the form if you like. Uh, submit the form. It'll go to make. Make will put it into the contact thing. And then we need to finish in Make by redirecting, sending a redirection. Now, how do we do that? Let's ask, how do I do a redirection with HTML4? Um, yes, 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 yes. Let's read the first page and see if it tells us sufficient information that doesn't embarrass me. Oh, come on. Redirecting, yes, yes, yes. So this is, remember this, we did this ourselves. Um, and this is going on for too long. Why can't you just tell me? I want you to say the thing that I want to say. Not going to. All right, let's just, let's just, I'll tell you. After this has succeeded, what we're going to do is to finish the webhook. Uh, I have more videos to discuss all the cool things you can do. Essentially, we are going to send a response back to that webhook. Um, and the form will receive that response, the browser, and it will do something. The magic, cut it short, is to change this 200 to 302, 302. If you change it to 302, um, this will tell the browser that it should redirect somewhere. The second half of the browser, the second half of the, uh, the magic, is to, uh, to open up advanced settings. We want to create a key called location, and the value will be the, uh, the URL of our thank you page. So we had three things. Change the number to 302, key location, um, and the URL of where we wish to redirect to. 
be direct. Thank you. One last time, we can uh, start this in development mode. Let me stop it with team names. If we are successful, we have been redirected to the thank you page. And finally, we can now see that we have implemented a form with a redirection. Uh, we've stored the data in our CRM. Yep. Um, and we are already ready to go with advanced automations that uh, you know that you're learning uh, in other videos. And so uh, we've got our free form. The final topic, which I'm going to uh, not discuss now because I think it's worth a little more time, a little bit of setup, which is spam. You have put a form on the internet. And um, you might be aware that there are people out there uh, creating bots, automations, possibly using make.com, um, finding contact forms and submitting um, incredible offers to buy Bitcoin and the like. You would like them to not do that. One of the solutions uh, you would have seen is the capture. Where, um, Captcha prevents the form from being submitted, or more importantly, the form ignores the, the submission if the capture isn't validated. And if you look on, uh, on my contact form, it's a bit in the way because the subscribe button's sitting on top of it, but down at the bottom, and not only that, but I'm in the way. Let's get me out of the way. Um, down at the bottom is this little uh, thing. Unfortunately, my subscribe button is sitting on top. Of it. Um, this is Captcha. This form is protected by a Google Captcha, and uh, in a future video, I too will cover uh, how we add this uh, to this form and how we add the Google Capture to our make to prevent us from having to our CRM being filled up with, with spam. But we are good to go. Uh, I really appreciate uh, you coming along. I, I think uh, this is just the start of an incredible, there's some incredible ideas here with the form and uh, this idea of being able to redirect, uh, oops, uh, redirect, uh, a response to somewhere else. There's a lot of things you can do with that. And uh, so, yeah, I appreciate, I appreciate you coming. This has been great, and I'll see you in the next one.